Right, we are ready. Ready to rock and roll. New game. Oh dear. I hope this runs smoothly. <laughs> hey, there we go. Right, so this is. Oh, yeah, I only have. All I need is the mouse. Oh, God, this is going to be a pain. No. <laughs> oh. Why? Why did I decide to. Oh, I never saw the water before. Hmm. Right, hang on. Right, why did I decide to do this? Uh, uh. Oh, God, this does not work well. It really, really doesn't control like you would expect. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh, oh. No, hang on. Right, back. This is going to be interesting to see if I can even f grasp this. I'm not grasping it. <laughs> I'm not grasping it. I want to go right. <laughs> uh, no, that didn't work at all. <laughs> uh, no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. It does not work as you think it would. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. <laughs> Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Thanks, Bennett. So that's that's the point of this game, is me not, <laughs> not trying to complete it, but to actually listen to Bennett Foddy and his... His, his, um, I don't know, what would you call it? His <sighs> philosophicalness, I guess. Ooh, ooh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, this is so unintuitive. Now, this is this game has been deliberately made to be almost impossible. I mean, if you don't know that this the guy that made this is the same guy that made Quop. If you don't know what Quop is, where the hell have you been? Quop is a brilliant, brilliant game. I remember the very first time I played it. I actually watched someone play it. Um, on Let's Play, probably I think it must might have been uh, Rage Quit on um, uh, Rooster's Teeth with Michael, and it was he got so angry at it. But when I played it, it was just fucking hilarious because it's like, oh dear, it's like you have four buttons to control your legs, right? And oh dear, got this. <laughs> and the idea is that you move your legs. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Oh. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just <coughs> a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bennett. That's interesting, because it's like he's talking there from the point of view of being the game. 
Never noticed that. It's like, I am the game. I am the voice of the game. Ooh. This is... This is weird. I'm, I'm going to get back to talking about Quop in a minute, but I just have to say that I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just sort of like... Wee! <laughs> I'm just... I'm really not thinking. You can't think about this because how it works, how you move, it's like trying to describe to someone how to walk. You can't describe how to walk. When you when you like look at a robot trying to walk and you say, well, you just put one foot in front of the other, it's not as simple as that. You, you, you literally... Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. You, you literally just... Um, You're literally just going on instinct and instinct alone, and I am amazed at how far I'm getting with it. Getting back to Quop for a minute, I'm just going to hang here and give my hand a wrist because it's already hurting. It's <coughs> Quop. I never played Quop to win it. I played it because it's hilarious. And I remember once when you got... This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002 titled Sexy Hiking. Sexy. The author of that game was Jezuo a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, game back to Quop. I never played Quop to... Um... To win it, I played it to be funny because Quop is not one of those games that you can win because it's like, what's the point? It's just a case of besting yourself to try and get a little bit further than you did before because when you first play it, you're not going to get a meter. If you go forwards at all, it's a good thing. Sometimes you'll end up going backwards. Whee! Whee! Oh, I've got my stuff stuck now. <laughs> but... Once you get into the rhythm of it, you can actually win it. Well, at least go forwards. And when you do, ooh, uh, and when you do, it's really satisfying. And this game immediately is giving me the same feeling of Quop because it's like you can't win Quop. I can't win this. I am. I do not. I look at it, look at this. Where is my hand going? I do not have the ability to 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 win this game. I don't even know what I'm doing. But. Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe with with time. The weird thing about this is it's all to do with acceleration. I've already noticed that. The hammer does not move based on where your mouse is. It moves based on the acceleration, which is interesting. Whee! Oh dear. I'm going to be spending a lot of time at the bottom here. But not for the reasons you might think. Not because I'm going to be bad at the game, but because I want to get good at the game before I get up high. Because there's nothing more unsatisfying than trying to go further than your ability. And then being let down by your lack of ability. I think it was covered in an episode of Pokemon once when Pikachu you know, was going up against uh, a Raichu. Basically, I know nothing about Pokemon, but I watched this one episode once years and years ago. And the idea was that, oh, here we go, that the the Pokemon was, a, was the same Pokemon as Pikachu, but bigger, older, and more evolved. And the trainer said that he didn't, he evolved it as soon as he got it as a Pikachu. And because he evolved it from a Pikachu immediately, it didn't have chance to learn all the all the um, things that a Pikachu learned. So you've got to learn to walk before you can learn to run. And this is me learning to walk. Basically, how does this mouse tie into the direction of this hammer because it, it it doesn't make it doesn't 
it's not intuitive. It doesn't make sense, but it is intuitive. The only reason I've got this far at all is because I'm switching off. I'm talking to the camera and um, and I'm just moving my mouse in a weird, weird way. Oh, I really hope I can get a little bit further just so I can hear more of Bennett talking. But I don't think I am. I'm going to get really fed up with this quite quickly because it's making my arm literally hurt. I am at a severe disadvantage with this because... Oh, I like the way it goes. Oh, oh. <laughs> because I'm left-handed, uh, but I don't use the mouse left-handed. I use it right-handed. And because of that... Oh my God, how... How am I doing this? This is weird. I mean, I really... I've, I've got quite high. I was never expecting to get this high. Ever. Right? Ever. And yet, it's... I'm just being relaxed and... Uh, being relaxed. Well, yeah, the more you relax, the more you, you, you do. But I just don't understand what I'm doing. How have I got this high? I mean, I'm going to go flying back down in a minute. And then we're going to have to go it all over again. But I want to be able to do this smoothly. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a bee game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavour. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's life in general, isn't it? You think you know what you're doing. And then you just fall. Straight back down. The question is, what do you do when you fall? I mean, this this game likes to try and reward you for, you know, whoop, whoop, for you know getting back up and trying again. But at the same time, it punishes you, just like life. Whoop, whoop, and oh god, this is so satisfying. I mean, it's satisfying that I can do this because I don't know what I'm doing. Whoop. No. Nope. <clears throat> oh, I wonder. I wonder if in canon it's the guy in the cauldron is Bennett. This is so so weird. Yet again, I, you know, when I play Quop, I get about a couple of meters, start giggling, and that's it. Because, I mean, the funniest thing about Quop was when I first played it was... It, it started playing as soon as I got moving. Um, Chariots of Fire, which is just the most hilarious thing ever to me Whoop. oh no <laughs> oh. the thing is about this game is it doesn't matter if you fall because you've already you've already got so far and it's like if you can go that far whoop, chances are you'll be able to get that far again but this is how Life works. You you learn from your mistakes, right? Well, uh, there's two ways of learning in life. Learning from your mistakes and learning from other people's mistakes. And learning from other people's mistakes is called training. Whee! 
Oh God, that's so, that's, how am I doing that? That's amazing. It's fun. So fun. Can, can I knock that coffee mug off? Cup. Yeah, I can. Oh, wow. Do, do, do. Do, do. All right. Where the hell am I going? I don't... Wee. Can I... Uh. <laughs> uh, no, no. This is so weird. Whee! Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. Yeah. It might take you an hour to get over that tree. Yeah. A lot of people never got past it. <coughs> you prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Hmm. So it's like a pseudo knife simulator. I guess. God, this is so fun. This is actually really fun. It's like, this game was not designed for me. This this game was designed for those bloody YouTube people like Markiplier and Septic Eye, who just, they do games for a living and they have to complete the game. That's how they, they do things. You know, their mentality is they complete the game. My mentality is I play games for fun. This is why I like games like Minecraft and... Or if you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. Not really. You're thinking I'm a septic eye or a Markiplier. I'm not. I'm the Jackal. I don't... I don't play games to win. I play games to fuck about. <laughs> Oh, that's how I did it before. Whee! There we go. See? You do it once, you do it again. It's learning. And the beautiful thing about this is, when I do fall, I get to do it all over again. I love this bit. This bit's great. Whee! Oh, especially, especially the barrel. It's like, it's like when you string together um, a, a, a movement like this, it's like... <laughs> if you need to take a break, it's okay. I've saved your progress. Oh, thank you. Wee, wee. <laughs> oh dear. I'm still trying to get used to this mouse. It just doesn't. It doesn't do what you think it does. <clears throat> oh dear. Because yeah, that's the that's the thing that. Because I've, I'll be honest with you, I've watched Markiplier play this and get angry at it, and it's hilarious watching him get angry at it. But he noticed that the mouse, um, when you move the mouse, the cursor moves to the hammer, so it, you can't, you don't have full control. It doesn't. It's not a one-to-one -one thing where you know a bit of movement here affects the movement on screen. It's like, it's completely, it has a, a, a non-linear relationship. It has, um, actually it's a, not a logarithmic late relationship, it's a, oh for fuck's sake. It's a, 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 um, an acceleration. So it will be a, it integral? No, differential, that's it, differential. It will be a differential relationship. Between like you know the the it's the acceleration. So the faster you move it, the more you move, which means that if you you can basically get some really good speed. Oh, I love speed. 
<laughs> Move it to the end and whoop way! No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love how the, the barrel that he's in, the cauldron, goes clang. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to swing myself. Oh, well. Anyway, yes. If I fall all the way back down to the bottom. No. When I fall all the way back down to the bottom. I am going to have a lot of fun trying to get back up. And hopefully by then, shake my hand loose, I will have the ability to do it better. Yeah. Although I'm quite happy with how, how, how I'm doing already, to be honest. Ah. Now that's a defeatist attitude. Because if you're not good at this game, by the time you reach the top, you're going to be really, really stuck. <laughs> oh, dear. No. Oh, God. I don't know. I can't, I'm not sure how to do this bit. No. Oh, wow, I did it. Yay! This is good. I wow. How am I how am I doing this so well? This is this is amazing. This is gonna be fun when I have to do it again. When, because you know, the, there's so many places to fall down in this game. And just it just literally takes you straight back to the start. But it wants you to go back to the start. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not <coughs> sure Jazuro intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Imaginary mountains. Oh, that's good. It's like... Yeah. This, this, this game really is a metaphor for, for life. Because like you say, you know, it's... Every task we do in life is a task. You can either look at it as something easy or something hard. And if you look at it some, as something hard, that's when you're making life... When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mould your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with, and in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Hmm. So yeah. This game is a mountain. Just like much of my life. Hey. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, no. Uh, oh, this might be a good chance to... No. Oh, God. How am I going to... I don't know how I'm going to do the later bits when I can't do this. Well... Because it's just... Because <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to push off this rock, onto that rock, but up. And it's like, how? How can I do that? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Come back. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, oh yes! Oh no! Oh, yeah, 
ass. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I am going to be coming back to this game over and over and over again for that feeling. It's that feeling of, like, you don't know what you're doing. You're just buggering about, and then somehow it all comes together, and you do something awesome. And it's just so satisfying. How I'm going to do I hate this. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's like the other bits, you know, you can sort of work out how to do them. But this, it's just a case of whenever I've watched someone try this online, on YouTube, it's a case of they just sort of like, you know, spaz all, all over the place until they just sort of make their way up and... Oh, I might as well try that. Nope. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. No, I haven't. I haven't done this bit yet, Bennett. Shut up. <laughs> if, I, if I'd have gone all the way down to the bottom, then yeah. Nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> God, how do you get up there? I, I, I might stop at this bit. I might just stop at this bit and then come back later. Yes, yes, I think I will. Bye-bye. Uh, quit. <laughs>